I love you, Gwen. I want to marry you. Is that it? Well, yeah. Look, Davis, we're, we're not right for each other. What? I can see that now. I don't want you to feel bad about any of this. I mean, you were really kind of decent to me most of the time. I can change, Gwen. I can live in a make-believe world. Hell, I already was. Half the things we tell ourselves are fiction. The only thing I know that's real is that I love you. I used to think that was enough, too. Isn't it? Step aboard, please. Wait. Don't you remember the time I, I, I had myself delivered to you in a box for your birthday? And, and how the guy I paid screwed up and delivered me to the wrong apartment? And, and how the, the lady who opened the box uh, freaked out and started screaming? And, and I ran out of there just as you poked your head into the hall. And, and next thing I know, uh, this one's bashing at me for having an affair with her neighbor. And this one's bashing me for being some kind of gift wrap pervert. And, and, and all I had to protect myself was, was a dozen long stem roses. And, and, and you never even read the note. What did the note say? I'll, I'll tell you what it said. It said... Marry me, Gwen. I'm lost without you. Actually, it's Jessica.